This video is for an Ender 3 Neo, but it will apply to other Ender 3s, I'm sure, with one of these sensors. Um, what I'm going to show you is how to solve the problem of after you auto home it, it's floating in midair still. It's not close enough to print to the bed. So, um, the short version, uh, and if you want to pause the screen, these are the instructions. Um, you're going to auto home. Um, just ignore that number. Um, you're going to move the axis to zero. You're going to go to configuration to Z offset. You're going to then put a piece of paper under your nozzle and you will decrease the Z offset until um, you feel like that is a the correct distance from the print bed. And then you are going to save your settings until you hear a beep. Um, you're going to save the settings in the configuration screen. Uh, so let me show you how to do that. Okay, so we are going to motion auto home. It's about done auto homing. And then you are going to go to moving axis. You're going to move Z, and I just go to move 1 because it won't let you go any further down than 0. See, I can keep spinning it and it won't let me go any further down than 0. Okay, and then I'm going to go back to configuration. I'm going to go to Z offset. Get my piece of paper, and I'm going to drop the Z offset, and while you do this, the nozzle is moving down, uh, ever so slowly, but it is moving. Okay, so I went down to two point, or negative two point. Four, five, and that is just enough for me, I think. Um, okay, then I'm going to go down here and save the settings, and that is all for um, fixing this problem. And I'm going to show you the result. Go to, we're going to go to motion, we're going to auto home it again. So on this time, um, if it worked, the nozzle should be close enough to the bed that you can print now. Oh, excuse me, it, wow, that's embarrassing. Uh, no, it's not going to be close enough when you auto home. It is going to be um, close enough after you move the access to zero. So I'm going to, yeah, when you print, it'll go to the right place. But notice how it, it added five. So my zero will now be at... zero. As you can see, the nozzle is now at zero. Okay, so thanks for watching. I hope it helps.